Good morning, kindergarten. How are you guys doing today? Happy Friday. You guys had a, had a great work week. You did a lot of good work. I'm very proud of you. Um, so I'm very pleased to say happy Friday. You made it to the weekend. I have a brand new math game that I'm going to show you today. It's called Build and Remove. Now this math game is very special. It's the first math game we're going to play where we're really focused on subtraction. And because we're focused on subtraction, I'm going to get my good buddy, Linus the Minus. I showed this to you earlier when we played um, One More, One Less. Because well, we did subtraction in that game, but we only were really counting back one when we did subtraction. So today we're going to get a little more in depth. So here's our Linus the Minus poster. Remember, Linus the Minus is a naughty young lad. Always taking away, he is oh so bad. When he comes around, you will end up with less. He makes a big difference, but he'll never confess. So remember, whenever you see this uh, symbol, the minus symbol, it means that we're taking away or removing um, an amount. So we're going to be left with some, a number smaller than when we started. Okay? I'm sure you guys remember that. All right, so to play the game, you guys are going to need your... Um, your number cards, primary number cards. Make sure that you don't have a zero, a one, or a two in your deck and get rid of those wild cards. You don't want them either. You also need your dice block. This dice block has a one, a two, and a three. Okay, so make sure you have a dice block to show one, two, or three. Uh, the game board that you guys are gonna be using is a 10 frame. Now, if you, if you prefer using a number line as your subtraction tool, or you like using an abacus, you can use those tools instead. It's, it's up to you really um, what you'd like to use today. I'm going to take you through the game. I'm going to show you how I use all three. Um, but it's up to you. It's really up to you. I would recommend um, a 10 frame if you have one, but whatever, whatever tool you're comfortable with is, is fine. Um, part of the great things about doing math, especially in kindergarten, you get to practice using all these different math tools and you get comfortable you know, using different ones. So it's good to have a bunch of these tools available, uh, but you, know, you, you pick what works best for you. All right, so let's get to the game. Build and remove. Step one, build. In order to build, we're gonna take our deck, we're gonna put them face down, so you, want the, you don't wanna see what card you're pulling up. All right, first card I pulled up was a Three, okay? I'm gonna start showing you on my number line how I'm gonna use my number line. So here's, here's the three on my number line. I'm gonna put a dot right there to start. I'm starting on three. That's my starting number. On your recording sheet, you guys have um, two columns. Starting amount, so on this side, will always be the number that you start with. It's gonna be the greater number, the bigger number. The number that you get when you flip over your card. So in this example, my starting amount is three. So I'll put a three in that box. All right, next move is to roll the dice. I'm gonna roll my dice. Okay, I rolled a three. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, remove three. So on my number line, I'm gonna count back three spaces. One, Two, three. It took me to the end of my number line. I landed on zero. Okay? So our ending number, our ending amount on our recording sheet for this example will be zero. Because I ended on zero. Um, if you guys are up for a challenge, you can write the subtraction equation uh, for each round of play. All right, I'm gonna show you that down here. So here is where I'm gonna put my equations. I started with a three. I'm gonna put my subtraction symbol, my minus sign, three minus, and I rolled a three on my dice. So this, look at it, this is gonna read as three minus three. You could say three take away three, or three remove three. I'm gonna put my equal sign, and three, minus three, as our number line helped us show, is zero. So I'm left with zero. My ending amount is zero. 
okay? If you guys are up for the challenge, I know a lot of you are. I've seen a lot of equations in the work that you've been doing, and that's great. You can record those equations as well as you, as you go through your recording sheet. Um, and this is called an equation. I know that's a, that's a fun new word for you guys. My turn. Equation. Your turn. Perfect. That sounded good. Because um, we have an equal sign in here. Um, whatever's on this side of our equal sign has to be equal to or the same as the amount on the other side of the equal sign. And when they're even, we call it an equation, okay? Because three minus three is zero. If you have three and you take away three, you're left with nothing, right? If I had three apples and I ate all three of them, I would have zero apples left. I'd have nothing left. So that's why we call this an equation, okay? Also a number sentence. We've been calling it a number sentence, um, but today we're introducing the word equation. So we'll call it an equation today. All right, so let me show you how to do another round. I'll take this card, put it in the discard pile, flip over my new card. Ooh, my favorite number, seven, seven. So my starting number is seven. My starting amount, I'm gonna record that on my recording sheet, seven. And I'm gonna switch to my 10 frame and I'm gonna build seven on my 10 frame. That's why they called it build and remove. So you're building this number. On the number line, I just marked the number that I started on. But when you use your 10 frame, you do have to build it first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so I built seven with my 10 frames. A my 10 frame, a row of five at the top, and then two on the bottom row. All right, so there's seven, I built it. All right, now I get to roll my dice and see what I get this time. This will be what I'll be taking away. I rolled, that's right, I rolled a two. So I'm gonna be removing two. So I'm gonna come over to my recording sheet. Oh, not yet, I don't, I don't have my, my answer yet. All right, so to remove two, I'm just gonna take two of my chips off. We're gonna remove them. One and two. All right, so we remove two. So we have to look at our 10 frame. How many are we left with? How many do we have left over? Most of you will look at this and say, well, you have the whole top row, Mr. O. That's five. Let's just count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. You were right. I, I should have listened to you. Five. All right. So we're left with five. So on our recording sheet, we can record that as our ending amount. Okay. And if you are writing down your equations, which I hope you are, my second equation, I started with seven. Put my minus symbol and we subtracted two. I rolled a two on my dice. So we're taking away two. And after the equal sign, we were left with five. Seven minus two is equal to five. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so that's what it'll look like on your 10 frame. If you are using a 10 frame, um, just a quick review of the 10 frame. When you're building your numbers, you always wanna start at the top row on the left-hand side and build them this way. Fill in that top row first. When you fill in the top, if you're, st um, if you're still adding on to it, you're gonna come down here to the bottom row and fill it in this way, okay? When you're removing, it's gonna be the opposite of when you're building. So you're gonna start on the right, on the bottom, and take them off from the bottom row first on the right-hand side, just like that, okay? Awesome tool, love using the 10 frame. All right, we're gonna set that aside for our next round. Let's see, I'll put my seven in the discard pile. So I have a nice discard pile with my cards face up so I can, I can see which cards I already used. And the pile that the, I'm pulling from is face down, the blue, the blue side up. So you don't wanna be looking at the numbers right away. All right, round three. We're gonna be using our tool, the abacus, uh, for this one. So flip over my card. I got a, that's right, a five. So five is my starting amount. I'll put 
put that in my recording sheet, starting with five. Let's see what I roll. A one. I got a one. Just a one there. So I'm going to start with five. We're going to take away one. Okay. I'm going to use my abacus here. Can you guys see it? There you go. Okay. So we're just going to look at the top row. I'm going to take five. I know this group right here is five, so I'm just going to slide this over. Count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have five here. So there's my five. I'm going to remove how many? You got it. One. So I'm just going to take this one, slide it back down. So here's what I'm left with. Let's count. One, two, three, four. I have four left over. What's that? Oh, you remember that one from um, One More, One Less. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's why we played that game. We want you guys to, to know those facts. Um, almost have them memorized, really. We probably were saying that as I, would, as I was figuring it out with the abacus. That's good. Good. That's what we want. All right, so our ending amount was four we removed one. So when I record my equation, I'll have my starting number, which was five, my minus symbol, which means we're taking away or removing something, and we took away one. Five minus one is equal to four. Okay? All right, friends, so that's it. That is build and remove. I hope you guys have a great time playing the game today. I can't wait to seeing uh, the pictures and the videos that you guys send of yourselves playing the game. I love that you guys are having fun with math. Um, you're doing an awesome job, a truly awesome job. I'm very proud of you. So you guys enjoy the game, enjoy the rest of your activities um, that you're doing in Schoology today. Um, I know our team is doing an awesome job and you guys are having fun learning at home and we're so very happy about that. Happy Friday. Bye.